let's start CFD with a 3D model. You know, a 3D model which is nothing but a heat sink. It actually sinks heat from your computer processor. In modern technology, water cooling system is a very much available, you know, and we will analyze the water cooling sink to see how much heat it can absorb from your processor. Let's take a simple and a small portion of water cooling system. It will be a fully decision if you take the full body to analyze in CFD. The blue portion of our 3D model is water, you know. The ash portion is copper metal. You can assume any metal which you prefer. The upper part, which is transparent, we are using a glass here. Let's travel this model from the front side. The ash portion is a copper shell and the transparent portion is glass and the rectangular channel is in between the copper shell and the transparent glass and lastly a heat flux will be applied to the lower surface of our model. Now you can see the dimensions of our model. This is a cross section of our model which actually is ZX slam you know the perpendicular direction of this cross section is y axis and the width in x axis is 6 millimeter and the height in z direction is 0.67 millimeter width of our rectangular channel is 1.5 millimeter and the gap between two mini channel is one millimeter one thing you could miss is the length in y direction is 26 millimeter which actually means in that direction let's have a look into the properties you see the materials are given in the left column and each rows identify their properties density specific heat thermal conductivity and viscosities are given we now we'll look up into the input data which are assumed actually for video making purpose these are the dumb V values. Unit velocity is V in equals to 1.187 to 0.171. You can assume any value out of this region. And the inlet temperature T in is equals to 93K, which is pretty much the room temperature. And the outlet pressure P out is a great pressure. You know what is great pressure. And the heat flux is to luck watt per meter square and we are assuming the inlet velocity v in is equals to 0.999 meter per second yes these values are determined by assuming the renal number as 746 i think you know what renal number is renal number is equals to rho vd divided by mu put all the value here and you will get v in and the last thing i want to mention to you is we are assuming the flow through the two mini channel are in counter direction this, and this figure defines everything now for setup i have already told you before that we are using ansys fluent and for general setup we will use steady state which actually means the properties of our fluid can vary with time and pressure raised absolute velocity formulas are selected and energy equations are activated the flow is subjected to be a laminar and the pressure momentum and energy equation second order upwind equations were selected to get the acceptable results residual factor was set to 10 to the power minus 6. Keywords from the setups are in red color 10 to the power minus 6 is nothing but it is our acceptance error range. I think that's all for our setup.